Ready, aim, fire! Hello everyone, it's Osnos HD here you can come in and welcome to another episode of Opponent Seasons. Now we are in Division 9. We got their last uh, last episode which was great. And uh, the team we're playing with in the first match was is Valencia, which I'm looking forward to. We've got Negredo and Rodrigo up front, really good players. They've gone for the 4 triple 2 again because that is my favourite formation at the moment. So we'll get into the game, see who we play against, who will be our next opponent after that. And hopefully we can get a double win this episode. Like uh, like last time, but we didn't actually get a double win last time. So, but anyway, hopefully we will uh, do our best and uh, come out with a win. Right, we have got into a game, and I can't. Oh, interesting. We've got Ivory Coast as our opponents, so that's who we'll be playing as next match. And I'm quite excited about that. I haven't been an international team yet. Get into game, hopefully get a win, and then I'm looking forward to being Ivory Coast next game. So, uh, come on, we can get these three points. Oh, this is a great play. Oh, nearly led to a goal. Great save by the keeper there, and it's off for a corner. Come on, whipping a good one, Parejo. Gone. Oh, we've got Gaia on the ball. Oh, he's back. Jesus Christ. I think that was his left foot. I think that's the left back or something. God even knows. That is a, that is a quite good finish. I, I did a good old hit and ho. And by Golly, it's hit the back of the net. Why the fuck did I just say by golly? It's hit the back of the net, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Look at this. Just takes it and boom. Rifles it top corner. Keeper has no chance. Oh, bollocks. Oh, I, I can't handle the strength of Boney there. He's just shrugged off my defender. and Nice little easy finish there. But um, one all. Oh, that's unlucky. Not sure how he's got that, but... One or we'll try and get the winner. Oh yeah, like let's go. Keep going. Oh what a goal! The right foot slam from Rodrigo just before half time in the 44th minute. Just to let you know, haven't been a clip in a fair amount of time. I've just been dominating really, and yeah, that's it really. And I finally get the goal I deserve. Two one to me. Oh that luck. No. Oh for God's sakes. Oh, he got lucky there. Boney again. I just can't stop him. He just literally can punt the ball and then just elbow people out of the way. Oh, it's 2 all just on the brink of half time. Right, it's half time. It's 2 all. I've been dominating. Should be winning, but as we all know, I can't defend for shit. And my finishing needs to be a bit better. But, um, getting second half, hopefully I can get the win. I got the ball! Oh, I got the ball ref. What are you talking about? That's no end. And we got sent off. Are you mad? Jesus Christ. How is that a pen? Oh, we're a man down. Are we given a penalty unfairly? Wish it showed a replay. Yaya's probably on the score. Come on, let's save this. Oh, that is just unfair. Gone. Oh. Fucking hell. Right. It's 3-2, we've got some catching up to do, but I think we can do it. It's just Boney is so OP for him. Oh, we've smacked the post and we get the rebound. Negreda with the, the smashing effort, literally. And then we're getting the rebound there. So that was a rebound goal straight after his, three minutes after. And it's a 3 all. This is a bloody entertaining game for the neutral. I'm such an idiot. I did the... Sh Stupid free kick, and he's obviously gonna. S no, gone. That going? Oh, Jesus! I'm such a mug. I took the free kick, which basically passed it to him. He countered. He sweated. Nearly mucked it up, and it just trickles over the line. Thought I'd saved it, but oh, I'm such a mug. And it's in the 69th minute. Right, we're going to get the. We're going to get a goal back, and I've decided that. So, uh, yeah. Ref, that's a pen. That's a pen. Yes, that chop was a success and a half. We have, oh, he's got a booking. How's he not got a red and I got a red myself? Right, 89th minute, we have actually got a pen. We cannot afford to miss this. We need this point to uh, help us in Division 9. Come on, give us this point. Oh, that could be a bad pen. No. Oh, my God, we've missed it. 
Oh, goalie's coming up for a corner. Oh, Jesus Christ. We have to score this one. Gone. Oh, no. Oh, that we've really mucked up here. Oh, fuck's sake. Gone. Oh, oh, hit the post. This is end to end stuff. We've got another corner. Keeper is up again. Come on. Can't believe I missed that pen. Gone. Gone. Yes! Have we scored? We've done it in the 90th minute. What an exciting game. We missed a pen in the 89th. And we've scored the equaliser in the in the 90th minute. 4 all. Can you believe it? What a night what a 90th minute. Jesus. Right, so um that has to be one of the exciting most exciting games I've ever played on FIFA 15. Jesus Christ, that was immense. 4 all is the final score, so we do get one point. And our next game will be at playing as uh, Ivory Coast and hopefully we can show how OP Boney is as he was against me and as you can see boom we get the point here just coming up here so we yeah, we only need five more for safety so uh, next time you see will be during the game with Ivory Coast right I um I stopped halfway through this uh, recording to uh, stuff and it's two days later now so I'm recording the second half and as we know, we are playing as Ivory Coast in this game. So we'll get into the match with this lovely team of OP Boney up front. And uh, hopefully get that win. Right, we're into a game. And what stadium is this? Oh, it's Crystal Palace. We're playing Crystal Palace. So we're going back to the Premier League. Which means next game, next episode actually in fact, we'll be playing as Crystal Palace. So hopefully we'll get the win. And then we'll play as Crystal Palace next episode. So let's get into the game. That's a ball. That's a ball. Yes, Wilfred Boney with the goal. Great ball by Yaya Torre. Boney obviously going to put that away. It's a great little, great little set piece that. And we're 1-0 up in the fourth minute. Would you believe it? Oh no. What have you done? Oh, Jesus Christ, that was close. Gone. Oh, Jesus, that came out of nothing. Thought I'd lost the ball. Salomon Kalou, ex-Chelsea player. May I add, has scored with a little, just a little uh, bang to the top right. Nice little scoop in there, got unlucky. And then just got given the ball back and boom, sealed the deal, whacked it in the top of that 2 0 to us. Gone. Oh, oh, Jesus. Salaman Kalu, right on half time. Should an absolute banger. And uh, it's half time, and as you can see, we're dominating and. A ish dominating ish and we've deserved 2-0 lead so we're going to half and seal this game off and not give up this two goal lead oh Boney snatched it he saw the error oh let's run past the keeper easy goal oh great play by Boney he read the pass from the centre back took it took advantage and boom he has done it so it's great play and uh, yeah three nice surely that's game over Let's have finesse Javinho. Oh! Oh, Javinho with that beauty of finesse coming off the crossbar and not crossing the line, sadly. Great effort there. Right, that is full time. 3 0 to Ivory Coast. That was a very comfortable game. Clean sheet and three goals. It was a very nice game. And as you can see, we're up to four points in Division 9 with a win and a draw this episode, which is pretty decent. Four points out of six. That's, I'll do, that'll do, really. So, yeah, that's a pretty decent game. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the episode. But I am thinking of adding a new rule regarding rage quits. Now, I've been thinking maybe uh, we should be able... The next team we choose should be in the same league as our opponent. If we get a rage quit from that player. Like, so for example, if he rage quit, I could pick anyone from Crystal Palace's league. Which would be... So I could pick anyone like Chelsea Man City or something like that as a, as a prize for getting the opponent to rage quit. So let me think what you think about that in the comments or ideas about what I should do for rage quit because I do want something else apart from just only playing the opponent so maybe something to do with the rage quit let me know what you think but that's the end of the episode if you haven't drilled please make sure you drop that like uh, you also subscribe if you're new around here that's really important uh, just hit the subscribe button and share and all that and I'll be very grateful and uh, also um, comment down below as I said any of your thoughts about the series but thanks that is all for me goodbye